Legends Privateer FX. Coming at you April 10th, I believe. 9th, sorry, April 9th. It's the Thursday before Good Friday, basically the end of the week. We kind of have an interesting calendar today. Um, we got Powell speaking. We got jobless claims, which will be a shocking number. PPI, Canadian employment data. We've got OPEC screwing around on some video conference. And then we have ECB minutes. Uh, so, you know, news, economic news has been sort of secondary because it's all just expected to be rubbish. Uh, but we will be watching a lot of this stuff today. And we will have to see um, what Powell says. This could have a, a, a pretty serious effect on the dollar. So, heads up. Heads up for that. Uh, let's take a look at the currencies first, then we'll go into stocks and crude. Euro's just dicking around here. Um, we like buying this on the dip, buying low ones today on the tactical book. Um, should pay. Cable, you know, we're, we're worried about uh, Boris. Um, you know, just seems to me they could easily be lying about his condition and what's going on. Um, we tried a long euro sterling yesterday, which failed. Excuse me as I yawn. Um, here's the euro sterling chart. This looks like a bit of a cliff edge down here at 44. Um, but, you know, there's no reason you can't just have a stop on the top side so for us we're just gonna have a stop at 88 the figure and if that stop gets done with news we'll manage it and if it gets done without news we will also manage it sort of with the idea that if Boris goes into a critical situation we want to be long euro sterling we will manage it if the stop somehow gets done and it's not that piece of news you just square it right no drama if you're quick and if you're a professional, you can you can manage that and square it um, with pretty low risk. So that's our Boris strategy. Uh, Dollar Swiss, same thing. Uh, yesterday we talked about selling up towards 40. Today uh, we're going to talk about the same. Could easily see a little bit above the 44 high. There'll be some if just a few stops above there. So now we try and sell between sort of 50 and 70. Uh, we will add through 90 on the downside. Core short dollar Swiss, one of the sort of standard positions, as long along with core short dollar Norway. Um, Aussie clusterfuck yesterday through 15 18 printed bang down to 81 last night we tr we we traded down to 08 uh, a lot of people are getting stopped up here who bought high ones um, this seems quite clear looks pretty constructive overall in the chart you know on the dailies you can't see the little micro movements and it just looks pretty darn constructive right it looks like we're heading for one uh, for for 6313 got to be careful on this because uh, we are of the camp that we're still risk off and as soon as risk turns Aussie will turn back lower but um, for now it looks mildly constructive if you happen to survive long Aussie yesterday you need to kind of just hold it if you happen to survive the move to 08 last night just leave your stop at 05 um, we made a little bit of money yesterday in the Aussie complex, but could have been better. Uh, Euro Aussie also got slammed yesterday, but it was tough, right? Through 50, down to 30, back to 79. Uh, you know, I don't have to we don't have to relive this uh, idiotic price action. Oh, sorry, it went up to 90, 75, 90 before it went lower again. What a cock blocker. My God. Uh, anyway, let's go.
go to uh, ES here. Course short. Um, we're back on the course short wagon. The tactical shorts we've just traded around. We got given last night at 24. Um, we will resell high ones today in the tactical book, but the trend book is now short. And so we just have to live with that. Um, big day yesterday. We talked about it. There would be stops above the high here. Of course, they just got them. 52 the high, 51 and a half the high last night. Um, this could easily go to 28.50. So you still got another 100 handles here. Um, but so this could also easily turn. And then we've got basically four days um, to figure out how this is going to go in America. And we're arguing here that it's it's probably not going to go that well. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we're correct or not. But course short uh, on the trend book and then the tactical book, you just want to trade it from the short side. Today you sell high ones. Boone's getting closer and closer to our very important minus 15. Yesterday was relatively uh, relatively hectic. This is the yield chart. Uh, so we did went down to 37, back up to 29. This is the price chart. So you can see that's a move up to 171.31. We traded 170. The finger figure core short boons uh, is the way. That 15 basis point, negative 15 basis points, is going to trade. We believe. So be ready for that. ZN, pretty boring. You have the natural uh, tendency for this to go lower um, against the um, Fed, who's like a gorilla with a club on the bid. Um, so if you've ever fought a big, big-ass gorilla who had a club or a big stick in his hand, got to be pretty good at fighting to win that so just be careful try and sell high ones if you can or just try and avoid this fight uh, and wait till we get some sort of clarity maybe a, maybe some sort of waterfall move down through 137 I don't know I'm not really sure how to trade this yet we've been trying to sell high ones have not got paid we want to be short uh, maybe a put spread I don't know all you, for all you smart ass fuckers out there, you know, put on some derivative structures or something. That's probably that's probably the way to express this. Crude, uh, you know, they're gonna come out and cut 10 million. A lot of people are saying we need to cut 40 million barrels per day to uh, neutralize the demand destruction. But listen, demand destruction. Um, is priced, you know, how many million barrels of demand destruction are priced in at 25 bucks? Uh, the point is, is there's going to be something constructive today, uh, I would assume. This is incredibly hard to trade. Um, not sure what to do with it. But OPEC today on uh, some sort of video conference. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what goes on there. Uh, finally, dollar CAD. We got Canadian unemployment today. We we did get paid yesterday, being short dollar CAD. Now today we're just square uh, tactical book. We'll have to wait and see how bad these numbers are. Again, it's like hard to trade these numbers. It's like we all know they're going to be bad, but how bad are they going to be? So we shall see. ECB minutes as well. Uh, you just got to be nimble got to keep your eye on things um, so today is really going to be a headline watching day and a news listening day uh, the backdrop being that we're just trying to be short dollars so sell high ones in dollar Norway sell high ones in dollar Swiss uh, try and buy some low ones in euro if, if, if you prefer that uh, that horse and core short equities at the 10 minute mark here uh, I'll take this moment to wish you all a happy uh, four day weekend uh, good Passover have a good Easter 
for all you religious folk out there. Um, take some time, take a breath, and then we get ready for next week. Good luck today trading, everyone, and I will uh, see you Monday, maybe Tuesday, definitely. We'll see. Take care. Ciao.